A boundary condition is usually defined in the global coordinates of x, y, and z axes. This can be defined also in local coordinates, based on a boundary curve, or structural member axis. Local directions item should be checked, in order to specify the boundary condition in the local coordinates. For local coordinates, only replace option is valid. Thus, add item is disabled, and replace item is automatically checked. The local coordinates are described in terms of tangential and normal axes. The current boundary condition is defined as restrained in the tangential direction and free in the normal direction. Let's assign the boundary condition to the circular arc edge of the model by double clicking it. The newly assigned boundary condition is displayed as a series of rollers along the circular arc. The each roller is free to move in the direction normal to the arc and restrained in the direction tangential to the arc. Let's switch the restraints of the local boundary condition. Uncheck the tangential item and check the normal item. The display of the local boundary condition is changed to rollers, moving along the circumference of the arc edge. In order to indicate the roller supports more distinctively, by the lines of restrained directions, choose Mark by Constrained DOF item from Assign menu. Next example is a case of two dimensional frame, with boundary conditions, defined in local coordinates. This example shows that, an additional process may be necessary, in defining the local coordinates for some cases. Let's check the local direction box, in order to apply the local coordinate option. Create a new boundary condition set, by releasing the tangential and rotational degrees of freedom, and restrain the normal component. Select a node at the end of a frame member, and press assign button. Then, the boundary condition is assigned to the node. The roller symbol indicates the restraint, normal to the frame member. Let's release the normal component, and restrain the tangential component. Now, the roller restrains the tangential direction, that is, the axial direction of the member. Assign the roller, to the end node of another frame member, by double clicking. For each of the previous nodal assignments, the direction of the roller was determined by the axis of a member. However, the axial direction is not naturally determined, if the node of assignment is shared by multiple members. Let's take a case of a node on the lower chord of the truss frame. Double-clicking the node does not fulfill the assignment of the boundary condition instantly. Instead, the dialog shows a message, select a curve defining the tangent direction. The node is marked in red color, and the curve selection tool button is automatically pressed. So, it is ready for a curve selection. Click the vertical curve connected to the node. Then, the dialog message is changed to, click the button to complete the assignment. At the same time, set tangent curve button is enabled. Click the button. Then the boundary condition is assigned to the node, as represented by a roller, attached to the node. The roller is displayed as in the direction tangential to the vertical member. Let's delete the boundary condition, and examine the orientation of the roller, using different tangent curves. Double click the same node again, and select a diagonal member this time. Click set tangent curve button. Then, the orientation of the roller is altered to the direction tangential to the diagonal member. Delete the assignment again, and try another direction by selecting the lower chord member. This time, the roller is represented in the direction tangential to the lower chord member. On the other hand, such a complex procedure can be simplified by assigning the boundary condition directly to a selected curve, instead of individual nodes. Change the selection object, by clicking the curve selection tool button. Double click the lower chord member. Then, the boundary condition is assigned, to all the nodes on the lower chord. The rollers are represented as restraining the displacements, in the axial direction of the lower chord. Change the boundary condition to be a roller, restraining the displacements, in the direction normal to the lower chord. The newly assigned boundary conditions are expressed as rollers, attached to the bottom of the lower chord members. This is the end of the tutorial demonstrating the boundary conditions defined in local coordinates.